Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, okay. So, first of all, an eye is a very interesting thing to draw. Now, mainly the eye is known for the eyeball and the eyelid. Now, first of all, the eyeball itself is, of course, spherical, so you need to know that when you're drawing the entire eyelid. Otherwise, if you don't remember that, then your eye might look a little bit weird and dilated and whatnot. Just remember that an eyeball is a sphere inside a sphere, a sphere inside an eyelid, so you gotta remember that inside the skull. Now, in order to draw an eye, you have to first consider the sketch of the eye. So, generally speaking, the contour or the shape of the eye is in the somewhat shape of a really weird elongated squish wide raindrop. In other words, it will be very wide around near the center or often uh, to the side of the center and from both sides it will of course start to narrow and start to shorten. However, it will shorten or stretch out a lot more on one side than it will on on another. Now, drawing the eye itself, you have to also know that the eye contains both the eyelids, the eyeball, the iris, the pupil, the uh, whatever the heck the white thing is called, and the eyelashes. But anyways, speaking of the eyeball itself, now the eyeball contains the iris and the pupil. The pupil is the big, mostly solid, mostly black part in the center of the eye. The iris of the eye is of course lighter than the uh, pupil of the eye and darker than the iris white part, no, sorry, white part of the eye, not called the iris, the non-iris, the um, cornea, I think that's what it's called. The iris also contains a couple of color fluctuations, if you know what I mean. In other words, it's never going to be a single solid color. It's going to have some lines coming out of them. I don't know what the hell they're called, but they're going to have lines coming out of them, so remember to mark those out when you're drawing, and just an FYI. Now, the cornea, I think that's what's called the white part of the eye, the uh, whatever the hell it's called, isn't always solid white. Now, technically it should be solid white because eyeballs are solid white, but technically it should be a bit of red in there technically because of all the veins and the whatnot going on but also it's often going to be a shade of gray or something based on the shadows from either a the environment or the shadow from the upper and the lower eyelid as well as the corner where the tear duct would be now eyelashes are a little bit weird because a lot of people have different eyelashes but generally speaking i don't think they're super important just draw them however the hell you like but anyways they're not super important I'm just gonna say that okay other things to notice such as the shadows and mainly the highlight you may notice that eye is very reflective because it's very glossy because it technically has a very thin layer of liquid over it because that's how an eye works now the glossy part because it's so glossy and liquidy it will create a highlight, which is that sort of white part reflection of your eye, because technically eyes are in fact pretty much like mirrors. If you ever look at a detailed image of an eye, it's pretty much a mirror, but I highly doubt you'll be able to get it that detailed of an image. Anyways, the white part, of course, is the highlight. See that last video if you don't know what the hell a highlight is, but basically it's going to be very, very white. It's going to be pretty much the shape or the size of the whatever light source is in the room, and often there will be multiple reflections of said highlight. We have the eyelid, which is also slightly complex, but you'll get used to that. It's not really a big deal. I don't have to explain it. Just remember that it also has thickness. That's pretty much all you need to know about the eye. Now, second thing, hands. Hands are also interesting. They are very interesting to draw. They're not easy to draw. They're not hard to draw. They're sort of in between and they're very fun to draw if you get good at them. Now, if you're drawing hands normally or the way I like to draw it, aka if you want to sketch some hands, that's usually pretty simple and pretty easy. The main thing you got to remember and do is to deconstruct the hand or deconstruct what you're drawing. For example, the general palm of the hand can usually be represented in a square or a rectangle. Each single finger, as you may know, is divided into three different parts. Go look at your hand right now, uh, except for the thumb, I guess. But each of those three different segments can be classified as cylinders, they can be deconstructed as cylinders, and you can draw them as such. Now, you don't have to, because I don't do it that way, but just so you know, they are round, they are pretty much cylindrical, and that's how fingers work. Now, when you're drawing a hand, a good thing you want to do is that you want to sketch out the points of the hand, so in this case, if you want, you can draw either a curve or mark out the individual lines, or basically the fingertips of the drawing you're trying to draw. Now, usually, if you want to go for a curve, you can go with a curve, because that just seems more natural and more flowy of a hand, but if you want, just mark out where the fingertips are, so that's the thumb, the index, the ring, the middle, and the pinky, not in that order, and mark out other things like, for example, the uh, freaking divots or valleys or whatever the frick you want to call them, the other parts of your hand. And then generally, as long as you trace everything together and analyze your hand pretty closely, everything should pretty much come uh, into fruition, fruition, whatever the, frick the word is. It'll come together and it shouldn't be too hard whatsoever. Now, in terms of shading, again, just look at your own hand or just get the shading to be a little bit difficult, but it's still not that hard compared to anything else because really, as long as you deconstruct it, it should be completely easy to do whatsoever. And that's how you draw hands, folks.